Saturday night, we had some of the largest hailstones that we've ever had in Georgia. In fact, the second largest hailstone ever in the month of July in Georgia was in Decula on Saturday night. It was as big as a tennis ball. And meteorologist, he's a professor at the University of Georgia, Dr. Marshall Shepard, thought he could make it home in time. He knew the risk was there, but he was 30 seconds away from his house, and this is what happened. Look at that mountain right there. Oh, you just feel for them. A lot of dents in their car. They had to get repaired today because these hailstones were large and they were heavy as they came crashing out of the thunderstorm. What you need are the perfect uh, ingredients to make up a storm that can create hailstones that big. You have to have a strong rotating updraft. These hailstones collide into each other, get coated with more moisture, go back up again into the thunderstorm, and then they come down again and they keep making this cycle until they get so heavy they can't be supported by the storm anymore. And if you could cut a hailstone in two, it'd be like the rings of the tree. You can see how old a tree is by the rings. You can see how many times a hailstone made that trip up and down the storm by counting the rings inside a hailstone.